Hey, so I'm going to get straight into this video. So, I wanted to mention this because I, I don't want to, we want to be careful that we don't make the flight that's coming up bigger than it needs to be, bigger than it deserves to be. So, because going to the bathroom on an aeroplane is just one arena in your life of many other areas okay so we don't want to make it bigger than it deserves to be because when you make it bigger than it deserves to be you're almost putting your your whole sense of self on the line okay this is one aspect of of you and you have many aspects you're a you're a multifaceted being of an infinite number of parts. So, and I think I mentioned this in a session where you contemplate success. You contemplate going to the bathroom and being successful, but just taking that success in your stride as though you almost expect to be successful or not that you expect to be successful but not being so surprised you know if you go to the bathroom on the airplane and you're able to relax yourself you find your body just relaxing and you're able to go you know not not um being phased by that so not being phased by success and also not being phased by failure and I first came across this concept it it will lessen the ego's grip over you because when you go into it thinking that there's a lot on the line that it feels like the ego has more to lose so let's say take a football player the football player is about to score a touchdown and all he has to do is run past this last man now it's easier for him to be caught than it is for him to dodge the last man and because he's invested so much into this idea into this idea of scoring a touchdown because he's invested so much into this idea, he's invest. When I say invested, he thinks to himself, "Well, if I score this winning touchdown, I'll be the hero. I'll be the man. You know, I'll be looked on in high esteem by the other males." When you play that game, you're putting more on the on the line, and so it's easier for him to be caught, and he ends up being caught by the guy. When you can put yourself in the zone and make it about the touchdown, not making it about being the hero or making it about being a success or being the man. When you make it about scoring the touchdown, he finds himself scoring the touchdown. He just does it because he's practiced it. He does what he's done in practice millions of times he finds himself just doing it Bruce Lee talks about this in the film Enter the Dragon he says I don't hit it hits all by itself so I the I inside who we think of as me the ego and I'm going to share with you a clip uh, from a movie called Revolver and it goes into uh, the journey of transcending the ego uh, before I go into the clip I want to talk about telling the truth I've been reading this book you may already know I've been reading this book Radical Honesty he recommends that we tell the truth to every everybody about everything 
and he mentions that the best way to free yourself from the mind is to reveal yourself to another and when when we do that with another we give them a great gift because then they feel empowered to reveal themselves to you because it sends out a message to them which says to them it has them thinking subconsciously wow if he can reveal that about himself to me then what can't I reveal to him so they know that they can come to you with any problem or issue because you're in a relationship of sharing and it's a safe environment that you create when you reveal yourself and you're open about yourself now I believe that is this this is part of the recovery process it's helped me revealing myself to my loved ones and inevitably I ended up sharing it on YouTube and it's helped me to accept myself even more but the the no to the ego that sucks the ego doesn't like revealing itself it sees it as suicide and to the ego it does feel like suicide but in order to transcend the ego we need to seek it out so ultimately we, we want to embrace the ego in the clip that I'm going to show you the character in this movie has a very strong ego okay so the clip I'm showing you is the, the ego when it's in its extreme form religion has a tendency to demonize the ego well not religion but you know fundamental fundamentalists demonize the ego i don't believe that helps because when you demonize it you try and push it away it has the effect of pushing back at you so we want to embrace the ego the ego comes the the ego believes that it's not going to be loved it believes that it's not going to be accepted if you reveal yourself to other people so being comfortable with uncertainty he says making unpleasant uncertainty pleasant is like learning to enjoy being scared on a roller coaster. The unpleasant uncertainty takes some time to get used to, but eventually becomes tolerable and even exciting. He says, We would rather be sure of a correctly predicted negative outcome then face the realistic uncertainty of an unpredictable future even if it includes the possibility of great joy and success. So we'd rather walk the road of predicted negative outcome than face uncertainty even if it includes the possibility of great joy and success. It's how we've been conditioned to do that. Anyway... I'm trying to keep these videos as concise and to the point as I possibly can. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to show you the clip. I hope you got something from this. The last thing. There's probably something I've missed out. I'm going to show you the clip. Remember, it's an extreme, this clip. But I want to give this a little bit of context. The, this little man that we've spoken about. So I hope you got something from this and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>